Hi, you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Starting off with some bubble yum for my chap lips. For today's video, I will be applying some castor oil to my hair. I washed my hair out yesterday and here is the current condition of my hair right now. I have not detangled my hair yet, so let's get started on that. I'm going to part my hair down the middle into two sections just to break it down to make it easier to brush. I start from my ends to the mid shaft of my hair and work my way up. If you guys are interested in viewing the first time I ever applied castor oil to my hair, I will leave the link to that video in the description box below. Once I'm done brushing out both sections, I'm going to join them together and brush the back parting. I'm done brushing my hair out and I'm just going to clean my brush off. Here I'll be dividing my hair in half half up, half down, and I'm going to place the top hair into a bun and I'm gonna clip off the sides. I'm gonna divide the back of my hair into two sections and right now I'm just doing a little finger combing. The last time when I put the castor oil in my hair, I did apply the castor oil on dry hair and my hair was also straightened. This time I wanted to mist my hair to just dampen it up a bit to see how that would work. I'm not trying to soak my hair, but I do want to mist it where it's a little bit damp. Check out those ends, they're just a little bit damp, not drenched. Here is the castor oil product that I will be using. Oh my, this did not work out like I planned. As soon as I tried to apply the castor oil onto my wet hair, it got stuck upon contact. For the top half of my hair, I will be applying the castor oil onto dry hair. Applying the castor oil with damp hair was definitely a no. It's moving right along to the bottom right side of my hair. I'm done applying the castor oil to the bottom half of my hair. Now I'm just removing the top clips. I'm going to part it down the middle, making another two sections. If you are applying the castor oil for hair growth, I would recommend applying the castor oil as close to the roots as possible. So that's the closest to your scalp. If you're just looking for some shine and you just want your hair to be smooth and feel soft, you can always apply it from the mid shaft down to the ends. This didn't come to mind for me until I had already applied it because I'm not looking for hair growth necessarily since my hair is already long. I could have just done it from the mid shaft down that would have saved me half the time for the application, which would have been 10 minutes versus 20. So it did take me 20 minutes to do my whole hair.
At this point, I did start to get a little faster. It seemed like my speed started to pick up since I had already done a few strands. Once you start applying this, you start getting the hang of it and then you just get faster with it. I'm almost done with the left section. I'm just applying the last pieces here and then we'll move over to the right section. I'm clipping off the left side and getting started on the right side. You can leave this product in for 30 minutes, 15 minutes, you can leave it on for 3 hours, overnight, however much time you have and whatever preference you choose. You can always tweak this. On this application, I left the castor oil in my hair about 3 hours, give or take, and then I rinsed it out. The last time I did the application, I applied the castor oil and I did go to bed with it on and I rinsed it off the next day. I just put an old t-shirt over my pillowcase to protect it from getting all oily and stuff, but my hair was super shiny. You guys will see that in the mini video clip and also in some pictures that I took from the last time. Don't forget to view my next video for the final results of both applications. Me, all cheesy, I'm almost done with the application of the castor oil on the right side of my hair. Now that I am completely through with the castor oil application, I'm going to remove the clip from my hair and I'm just going to rub my fingers through my hair To distribute the castor oil down my scalp, I'm just going to rub it around for a while and through my hair. I'm twisting my hair and rubbing the oil down the ends. Got to get all them ends nice and saturated. Let's get this hair thrown in a bun. You guys, I've had this t-shirt for so many years. Like, it's like really, 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 really old. <laughs> and when I put it on today, I had a square around my neck. Literally a square around my neck. I should have left it and showed you guys, but I didn't think about it in the moment. <laughs> I tugged at the sleeves a little bit and it kind of straightened out somewhat where it was looking a bit normal once you get that crusty eunuch the shirt's got to go i put the t-shirt on knowing that today would be the last day for me to wear it i'm throwing it in the recycle which means i'm gonna cut it up into pieces and use it as rags around the house to clean which by the way is what i'm off to do right now i got my bun up it's nice and tight i clipped it off and I'm gonna go and do some chores while this soaks in and shines up my hair. I'm just adjusting the clip here. I do need to have a nice tight hold and I'm putting a second clip in the back for extra security <laughs> because when you're cleaning you know you gotta you gotta be moving around a lot. You gotta have that secure otherwise it gets uncomfortable and starts tugging at my hair and kind of hurts. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching the application of the castor oil. I will see you guys in a future video with updates. Bye!